Thanks for joining us. Uh, as Dr. Kurt said, we're going to take questions. So I'm just going to see if I can see the questions. Uh, there you go. So I'll let you uh, monitor that and you can see what questions there are. And, and hopefully you, uh, you don't get any feedback there. But, you know, hey, Katie, thanks for joining again every Friday. And, and Michael, I know you're with us again tonight. And, and, uh, and every one of you viewers, uh, thanks for taking time out of your day. Uh, I know here in the States, it's a weekend. It's a beautiful day up here where I'm at. And, uh, and uh, for those of you down in Australia, it's a, it's a wonderful Saturday morning. You guys are kind of rolling out of your winter, right, Katie? Yeah, we're coming. Well, yeah, we're just coming at, towards the end of winter now. And so it's nearly spring. We're sort of 12 days out, approximately 13 days to, to spring. And uh, actually, my mum was just saying she's going to open the window in my bedroom because um, uh, there's jasmine and they're already starting to come out. And that's a spring flower. So. All right. Yeah, we're uh, we're we're getting we're rolling into the end of summer, and so we're also opening windows. I've had uh, I shut the AC off a couple of days ago, and I've got all the windows and doors open in the house to let all the fresh air in. Man, I love it. I love it at night, and it gets cooler temperatures, you know, and uh, all that fresh air. It's really good for your health, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Now, um, Kurt, since you're the one that's actually gone live on Facebook, I can't see them. I can't see the questions. So if okay. you can, yeah, see, so see what you can see. You could make me host and then you could read the question if you like. Okay, here, hang on one second. Um, let's see. Well, we don't have any questions yet, so I'll, I'll watch it. I'll monitor it as, as we do this, Katie, and see what we get for questions, okay? Okay, sure. So what are we going to talk about? Well, you know, um, somebody asked me today. She yeah. said She said to me, um, what do, what do I do if I have, uh, if I have, uh, just been diagnosed with lupus? Oh, okay. Yeah. Have you ever been presented with that one? Um, yes. Uh, people have asked that before. So that is a great question. And generally what I'd say to someone is, um, you know what, I'm going to connect you with Dr. Kurt and he will have a chat with you. <laughs> Yes, that's what you do. <laughs> huh. But you know, um, Marsha, who was just on our last call, boy, doesn't she doesn't she have a wonderful testimonial on her uh, on her uh, lupus? Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, and so that's what I share with people. Is I say, here's a video of somebody that just went through lupus, and uh, she had some wonderful results. And 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 I want you to watch this uh, testimonial that she did, and then let's talk. But um, so my friend uh, today that that had uh, uh, been diagnosed with lupus, I said to her, I said, first thing first, you have to um, you have to go on a gluten free, sugar free, you know, processed sugar uh, diet. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's key. That's key with an autoimmune disorder because, um, they, they trigger the immune system to go haywire. And what autoimmune means is that the immune system thinks that cells in your own body are foreign mm -hmm. cells. They, they look at it as like a bacteria or a viral cell. And so it starts to attack, um, yourself. Mm-hmm. And that's not good. And and so I try and explain to them that, first of all, uh, we, we got to get the immune system to kind of back off a little bit. How do we get the immune system to not look for things to attack? And uh, science, uh, or Harvard, came out with science here um, two, three years ago, and they said that uh, a form of, of niacin, nicotinamide riboside, actually could do that. They found that nicotinamide riboside actually... Um, triggered the immune system to start kind of backing off and 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 not attacking the body but once it had uh, uh balanced the immune system out then um the nicotinamide riboside the the form of vitamin b3 would actually um go back and reverse the damage that it had done mm -hmm. wow that's amazing which, yeah so which of our products that we have it, it uses, it doesn't use nicotinamide riboside because nicotinamide riboside is actually the, the stomach acid and the liver destroys like 60 to 70% of that. So we've actually used uh, nicotinaminic acid and ribose rather yes. than, than using nicotinamide riboside. So if you want to talk a little bit about um, the product that has that in that, Katie. 
Yeah, so of course, Dr. Kurt's talking about our famous H pill, the sizzle H pill. Um, and from memory, Kurt, correct me if I'm wrong, um, Tom, Tom Mauer Sr., who's uh, our product formulator and has put together this fantastic formulation, he said that by using that combination of those two ingredients, the ribo ribose, and uh, I thought it was niacinamide, but that's incorrect pronunciation, but uh, by using the two together that he said it can last up to four times longer in the body than using straight NR, which uh, a lot of the NAD boosters uh, on the market use the straight NR, whereas ours uses those two ingredients combined. And he, he believes, and we can't say for sure because we can't make claims, but Tom Mauer's op opinion is it will last up to four times longer, which is why we get such fantastic results with the age pill. And, you know, the testimonials really speak for themselves. We just get such great testimonials. So, um, you know, this is a great product. And the age pill, of course, uh, helps us in many ways, like Dr. Kurt's already been mentioning, you know, it helps uh, to improve energy production through boosting, um, supporting, supporting the body to boost ATP. And of course, um, uh, NAD decreases as we age. So, you know, the older we are, the less NAD um, our body produces and our ATP production goes down. And so basically we really want to support ourselves if we want to improve our energy. So this is a great product for that. And then the other two things the H pill is great for is it helps to cleanse the cells and clean them uh, inside and outside. So, um, you know, as we get older, uh, our cells, um, well, even, you know, at any age, our cells are producing waste as a byproduct of just producing energy. But our bodies, when we're younger, is really efficient at getting rid of this waste. Um, as we get older, it becomes less and less efficient and it starts to build up and it clogs the cells and the cells get clogged and slow down. And that's why we start to feel old and we just don't function as well. And this product really helps to support the body to get in there and get rid of that. And it's called, you know, lipofusion and the buildup of glycation. So we're really addressing three factors that um, impact aging um, and, and health. And so, yeah, I really love the product. Yeah. Yeah, and there's so many testimonials, isn't it? You know, and and like like we were talking about with lupus in this particular case, you know, we can't make any medical claims. It doesn't cure lupus. It doesn't cure any disease. But according to the science on the ingredient, it actually helps with balancing out that immune system, and that's really really key. That's important, not just with lupus, but with other. Um, uh, types of uh, types of uh, autoimmune disorders, even you know, you think of rheumatoid arthritis, you think of MS, uh, and things like that. And then the other the other product that I, I told her about is I told her about fucoidin, because mm -hmm. fucoidin it, it has such really um, really good uh, anti-inflammatory effects, and and so what fucoidin does it lowers the inflammation and it helps to. Um, balance out the immune system. It's, it's like an adaptogenic herb in some ways that it helps to balance out the immune system. And, and so when you combine it with the, with the age pill, the two are like a one-two punch, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Fantastic, great combination. And I love that Bucoidin supports the body to manage inflammation. Um, you know, I recently hurt my shoulder at the gym uh, and uh, got really a lot of inflammation in my shoulder. And I just started taking, you know, three doses of glucoid in a day, uh, almost Kurt, using it as a bit of a pain relief um, because it did help to reduce the inflammation. And so I love that product. And you're absolutely right. That's a one-two punch there with the age pill and the glucoid and combined together. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. and then, you know, I mean, let's just stay on the subject of lupus and autoimmune disorder. So the next thing we really need to talk about is that, you know, a lot of times what's happened is, is that the, there's not just inflammation, um, you know, systemically, but there's inflammation in the joints, there's inflammation in the soft tissue. So I recommended uh, to, to Rhonda, to my friend, I recommended using uh, Super Omega and the, right. the, the EPA, um, f the part of the fish oil uh, called EPA. There's two primary oils in fish oil, EPA and DHA. And DHA is, is, is used primarily for making new brain cells, but EPA is, uh, is used for getting inflammation. And have you, ever had, have you ever had anybody tell you that fish oil really helps out when you have in, in inflamed joints? Um, yeah, I mean, oil, yeah, fish oil is essential. You know, it's essential fatty acid. That's why it's called, you know, EFA, um, contains EFA. So 
definitely, and it's great for, you know, they also recommend it for women to help with uh, period pain. Again, that's an inflammatory response. So uh, I love this product. Actually, and that brings me to a question for you about the product. Is it safe for somebody to take a double dose of that? I mean, I, I love it. Is that okay? Or, you know, can you do a double dose of the EFA if you needed to? Oh, yeah. Um, I actually read a study. Oh, I, I want to say, you know, um, it was back about 10 years ago. And uh, they were recommending for people that had uh, any type of degenerative arthritis that they start taking uh, 20,000 um, uh, international units. I use of it. Um, it's not measured in milligrams. It's measured in, in uh, international units. And so at that time, I mean, think about 20,000 units. Most uh, uh, fish oils are only 1,000. Uh, 1,000. So that mm -hmm. means you, you take a 20 time dose, not just a two time dose, you take a 20 time dose. Right. Okay. So yeah, so we can do a double dose on that. So that's, that's great. So actually, I do have another uh, question here that somebody asked me just yesterday. Um, it was about a peanut allergy. You know, what could somebody take if they've got peanut allergy, you actually recommended a few things here, um, which I've got in my notes. Um, so maybe we could talk about that one. Um, okay. Well, let me let yeah. me finish up with the lupus. There was just one other product that I recommended for. I told her to take the Body Shield and Spectrumax because mm -hmm. of the not just because of the <clears throat> the fulvic acid. And you and I have talked a lot about fulvic acid. Yeah, love in, it. In, in fact, since we started talking about the importance of fulvic acid, um, Sizzles had a run on the Body Shield, haven't they? Yep, they ran out um, because. Uh, you were talking about it. I was talking about it. Jenny Lovett was talking about it. Uh, people have been sharing it. You know, we discovered how really uh, essential fulvic acid is for the body. And it does so many great things. Um, not only does it help to um, support the body to heal uh, the gut, any gut damage, it helps with um, absorption of vitamins and minerals. It also helps with protecting the body against radiation. It also helps the body to bind to uh, glyphosate, which we're all exposed to. I mean, it does so many great things for the body. I mean, Kurt, this is such a great product. I've even put both my dogs are now taking it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my dog <laughs> takes it every day. You know, I, I, I never really thought about it, but like when you see animals eating dirt. Yeah. Um, you know what they're craving? They're craving humic acid and fulvic acid. They're craving minerals. And, uh, um, you know, I found a way that I can get my dog to actually take all the triangle of life. Yeah? How's that? Well, he loves milk. And I know you're not a milk drinker, but my dog loves milk. And I've tried to give him almond milk. He won't drink it. I've tried to give him coconut milk. He won't drink it. He looks at me like, throw this stuff away. I want the real stuff, right? And yeah. uh, so I, I especially buy him milk. Even if I don't drink it, I give it to him. And, uh, and I found that if I mix the triangle of life into a cup of milk, uh, he drinks it up. He loves it. Wow. How much do you give him? I give him a full dose, just like what I would for myself. Oh, really? How much does he weigh? About 85 pounds. What is that in kilos? So what is that? Um, 85 pounds. pounds. Probably about, yeah, about about 28 kilos, probably. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. He gets a full dose. Great. I might. I was giving Milo the full dose, and then I thought maybe it was a bit much because she weighs 22. So I cut it back, but I might increase it a little bit because, you know, she's a... Uh, She's getting on and I'm trying to stretch her health span as long as possible. But anyway. Huh. How old is how old is your is your dog? Is Milo? He's sixteen now. Sixteen, yeah. Chewy's just coming up on on I I don't I can't remember if he's eleven or going on twelve, but he's so I just say eleven and a half. Okay. Great. <laughs> well, actually, what I'm really excited for to give Milo and I think it's gonna make a big difference. Um, Dr. Kurt and I are very, very excited. Uh when Tom Senior brings out the new product, Debom, which is a senolytics product uh, to address senescent cells in the body, they're cells that have reached end of life and they accumulate obviously as we get older. Um, and so this product's coming out, we don't know when, hopefully soon, but I would love to give that product to Milo. Could you imagine? I mean, we would see, the great thing about giving it to my dog is, or any dog, is that you're gonna see the effect really quickly because, you know, dogs don't live as long, so the impact. And also, I love the saying, uh, Trevor said it, dogs don't lie. There's no placebo effect in the dog. You can see the results in the dog, how the dog's mood and energy levels improve. 
So I'm really excited for her to add that to the regime and just see if we can't give her that even little bit more health span, a little bit more lifespan. You bet. You know, and 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 Katie, I was just reading a, a, a newsletter from um, that I get every every month from the the Sens Research Laboratory, which of course is from Aubrey de Grey. Right. And Aubrey de Grey is kind of father time. He's kind of considered one of the iconic figures in the anti aging world, and uh, and he said that that Senolytics is one of the most important unexplored areas. In, yes. uh, in age reversing medicine and 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 uh, when tom met with him at the world congress of stem cells last year over in spain uh wow. they, they were actually discussing that and and aubrey de gray said yeah this is going to be one of the most impossible things to do with you know talking about analytics and uh and tom went home and and started working on it like almost <laughs> immediately right and and, yeah, because and he just told him it was impossible and he's like i don't think so i'm gonna figure this out yeah, so we figured it out. But here's the problem. And this was Tom and I were discussing just on Tuesday morning, just three days ago. He said that um, some of the ingredients they're they're um, it's 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 not that it's it's uh, an ingredient that's hard to find, but it comes in such small amounts that um, that it's really hard to concentrate. And obviously, I mean, if you take if you take a berry and you're taking one little ingredient, I mean, you probably take a, 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 a an elephant sized room full of, of this of, of this fruit and you extract just this one ingredient from it, you probably get a you take an elephant sized room full of this raw ingredient and you probably end up with a with a like a uh, a cereal bowl full of, of the of the actual extract. That's that's how little of it is in the fruit. Right. Wow. Right. Right. So it's expensive and it's difficult to extract and hard to obtain, obviously. Hard to obtain, and that's exactly it. But it, it's such a powerful ingredient because they found that what it does when, when Katie, the reason Katie and I are so excited about it is that just imagine that um, uh, you can take all the, all the old, dead, dying cells out of your system and, and throw them out. And that's what's supposed to happen is that your body has a built-in um, uh, system that, that tells your cells you, you're done now. You, you, know, you commit suicide. It's almost like Hillary Clinton's working with them. But they, um, but they, they, they tells the cell. I had to throw that in there. Sorry, a little bit of politics. But um, anyhow, uh, you, it's like you tell the cells, get out of here. You're done. Your work's done. Get out of here. And, uh, but because of the preservatives, because the, uh, the uh, chemicals in our environment, your body isn't getting that message. The message all is all goofed up. It's like it's like it, you're you're going. You, it's like uh, it's like a signal that that's not getting there. Mm -hmm. So, um, but you know, hey, Michael. Michael asked a question here. He asked me a question on on Facebook. He said, uh, and folks, we want you to ask your questions. So just type them into Facebook. I'm I'm watching it as as Katie and I are doing this video. But uh, Michael was asking about. What can we do if somebody's got degenerative disc disease? Mm. You know, Great question. It really is because, you know, not just degenerative disc disease, but uh, degeneration in, in, in all of the body and all of the, the different cells. Um, the problem with degenerative disc disease and osteophytic formation, like what you're talking about, Michael, is that the disc has a very poor blood supply. And I'm not going to get into it really in depth, but, but the reason that, that, God invented us with a with a very poor blood supply to the to the spine to the disc is because can you imagine if all of a sudden you ruptured that disc and it started bleeding what happens with dried blood i mean Katie if you cut your arm it it bleeds and it and it creates a scar but it bleeds out for a while first and so can you imagine if you had a bunch of blood dr dumping into the spinal into the spinal canal, yeah, that's not going to be good. <laughs> yeah, so now you got all that dead, dried blood in there, and you got a scab formation in the spine. And guess what's going to happen? You're going to start ripping up the nerves. And so um, when when God invented us, He made it so that there's two little, 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 little tiny arteries going into the disc, and so the disc has a very poor blood supply, and that's that's uh, it's a good thing, and uh, and. So when you when you damage the disc, it's very hard to repair it, and so I just want to say that first. So no matter what you do, um, the disc is going to take a longer period of time. But um, Margaret, 
out in uh, out in Portland, Oregon. You remember one of the first uh, yeah. the first testimonies we had with Margaret? Yes. And what did she say about about? I mean, she had she had degenerative uh, disc disease that was evident on X ray, and uh, and what did what did what did she say when she started taking the age pills? Like four months, wasn't it? Yeah, she said that uh, scans. She had some X rays or scans done, and they showed there was no sign of it. After about four months, and so so in answer to your question, uh, uh, Michael, I would really really concentrate on taking a double, maybe even a a triple dose um of of the uh of the uh of the age pill and then of course like we talked about with lupus you also want to take um the fucoidin to get rid of the inflammation you want to take the super omega because the the epa gets rid of that inflammation and then another product that i really like too um when we're talking about degeneration or uh, arthritis of any kind is uh is the uh, um is the eternity product we talked about it on the on the call tonight didn't we yeah. So yeah. Well, what what we'll do is that call. We'll split it so we can have that little segment on eternity, and people can watch it. It'll be yeah. up when you're. Yeah. Yeah. Because eternity, what it does is got resveratrol. And so we can't, we can't make this claim about eternity, but we can make this claim about resveratrol. What resveratrol does is it supports uh, healthy sirtuin gene activity. And, and, you know, I'll let you explain a little bit about the sirtuin gene uh, uh, and how it works with the, with the DNA, with damaged DNA, uh, Katie. Yeah. So the sirtuin gene is the youth gene and uh, that gene actually gets turned off uh, when uh, we it's turned on when we're young and then after a certain age it's turned off and what the uh, respiratrol does is helps to turn that back on and science says that um, I don't think even they understand 100% the mechanism and how it works but they found that when that gene's actually turned on it has a really powerful um, effect on protecting the body against free radical damage um, and so it is in a way considered an antioxidant even though I don't think it's fully 100% understood um, and so obviously that's really critical because we want to protect our dna because we're getting bombarded by all this environmental stuff and we're breathing you know even just breathing air we're exposed to you know sun radiation and all sorts of things um, and so basically our dna is getting attacked it's getting damaged we're getting assaulted by these free radicals and so we want to um, basically support our body with um, you know antioxidants and as I mentioned, you know, they've found that respiratrol can play um, a really major role in protecting uh, the body and helping to combat that free radical damage. Is that accurate description? I totally, I totally agree with you. <laughs> yeah, you bet, you bet. So, you know, then you mentioned the peanut allergy. Yeah, and so, yeah, go on. Just uh, tell a little bit about about your friend, uh, the, the question you had with the peanut allergy. Oh, so somebody was saying, well, you know what, if somebody's got a peanut a allergy, is it anaphylactic where it becomes life-threatening um, that, you know, it's so bad that if they consume peanuts or crumbs of peanuts that they could actually, they die, they have this really severe reaction. And, um, and so the question is, what sort of products could someone take to uh, help support the body to um, you know, manage that better or potentially, you know, support the body to help it improve the situation. Uh, so, yeah, Kurt, do you want to talk through, I've got your notes actually in front of me. So, yeah. I mean, I can read them or you can talk, talk to that. Yeah, so I was, I, you know, my answer first, of course, is you want to make sure you avoid all, all things that have peanuts and peanut oil, right? Because, you know, um, there, there's peanut oil that they slip in with things and you don't even know it's there. They use it in place of other types of cooking oils and things like that. So you want to be careful on that if you're, if you're having some problems with that. But um, again, talking about fish oil, the EPA, it helps to balance out what's called the arachidonic cascade. And what that really means is that when you're talking about a, a arachidonic cascade, your body gets exposed to something and, and your immune system says, hey, this isn't normal. It looks at it as like being a foreign body inside of your, inside of your cell and or inside, the, inside the body. And then it, 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 uh, it builds an immune cell. So it builds a memory and it says, hey, if that guy comes back, let's remember who he is and we won't let him in next time. But if he sneaks in the back door and he gets in there, um, then, your body, then your body starts to attack. And, and, and then once he's snuck in a second time, now what happens is that now your immune system kind of goes crazy and it says, let's build up all, an army 
to fight this guy. Mm -hmm. And so now what you have is you have an army. And so instead of one guy going to the door and saying, hey, no, you can't come in, you got a hundred guys that go rushing the door. And when they hit the door, they knock the door over and they knock the door down on top of them. And they, I mean, you can imagine the, the collateral damage because of that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but yep. I mean, you get a vivid yeah. picture of how yeah. I'm describing it. Yeah, you're doing an analogy. That's great. That's why I'm laughing because it's kind of funny because I've got these pictures yet we're talking about. <laughs> right. You know? But 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 if you if you make it so that people can understand it, they can picture that. They can picture a hundred guys running toward the door because you've got one guy that they don't want to let into the building, and and now they're attacking it, and they can picture that. That's that's mm -hmm. what's happening. And so what the EPA does the, the, from the fish oil is it says, hey, 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 let's back off a little bit. Let's check this guy out. Let's make sure that he's OK. Maybe it's not so bad. Yeah. And so that's what the fish oil would do. There's another there's another um, oil. It's called uh, perlic acid or perlic oil. And it, it comes from different things like safflowers and things like that. But uh, and there's a few other good benefits for perlic acid. Uh, Tom and I are actually talking about that one as well. But um, perlic acid is uh, is going to it's going to stop that arachidonic cascade, that that rushing of the army toward the door. And uh, we don't have it in any of our products yet, but um, I know that we, I know that we will. Okay, so it's coming, it's coming. Okay, yeah. and um, the other products, of course, we've already talked about Body Shield, so that will will help to assist with the gut because yeah. it has, for all the reasons I've mentioned before, which is important because the immune response is coming from the 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 gut, isn't it? Yeah, and and people say, well, I don't have a gut problem. Right. You know, they, they think when you say, oh, you have a gut problem, they're thinking, oh, I have diarrhea or oh, I have constipation, things like that. And, mm -hmm. and, and you have to say, look, here's how the gut is put together. There's cells and they're tightly packed together like this. And, and, and what they'll do is like if you need vitamin C, it'll open up and I'll let the vitamin C pass and then it closes back up. When you need B vitamins, it opens up and it lets the vitamin B in and then it closes back up. And when you need calcium, it opens up and it lets the calcium and then it passes right back. And that's what they call a semi-permeable membrane. Mm -hmm. And it's controlled by, by the uh, microbiome. It's controlled by the healthy bacteria. And what ends up happening is because of um, different things, chemicals like, like uh, uh, Roundup and different things like that, glyphosate, what it does, it destroys that that normal semi-permeable membrane. So what happens is, is that the membrane stays slightly open all the time. Mm. And so now what happens is those different things can pass through when they're not supposed to pass through. And, and not only that, incompletely broken down proteins. So proteins that haven't been totally digested can pass through. And once, mm. they, pa once they pass through, now your immune system does what we just talked about it develops this 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 attack mechanism and rightfully right. rightfully so because it should remember our immune system is based on caveman days our our mm -hmm. immune system is still old it's ancient it's 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 developed on on killing bacteria right and, and so it looks at at those incompletely broken down proteins as being um, a, uh, a a bacteria and so, of course, it's going to attack, and it should attack. But the medical approach is, is well, let's stop it. Well, if, if I stop it, aren't I actually destroying your body's natural project, uh, protection? And aren't I actually going to make it worse in the, overall, in the long run? Hmm. It, it would seem logical that that might happen, yes, yes. Yeah, so so logical, just like you just said, I like that word. The logical and, and natural approach would be, hey, why don't we take and why don't we fix the gut? Yeah. Why, why don't we zip that back together? Mm -hmm. And you've you've heard me talk about this enough. What product does that? Body Shield, and and that leads into the next product too, Spectramax. So Spectramax has got the fulvic acid in it as well. And it's got the minerals and some key vitamins in it. Uh, you've got some antioxidants. So that's an, another great product. You know, it's a liquid. And so, you know, you've recommended that those two products be taken as well. And then you've also then added at the end there to suggest taking the age bill. 
Yeah, because they age build in, you know, like we talked about with the autoimmune disorder, like with the with the the case of lupus. Same thing with an allergy. An allergy is an autoimmune condition. It uh, balances that out, and it's backed up by Harvard Science uh, talking about the nicotinamide riboside, which of course is uh, one of the ultimate goals when we're when we're using uh, a nicotinaminic acid and ribose is that your body's going to make its own nicotin or ni- ni- niacinamide riboside instead of taking it through orally your body's going to make it by by giving it the building blocks and that's that's essentially what we're doing with uh with the age bill fantastic great so it's really interesting when we have that discussion because a lot of things have really come back to the immune system and there's a lot of um things that like, like cross over you know a lot of these the products that we've been talking about can support um by the sounds of it many um immune issues going on with the, the human body so um yeah, I just love our products. And, um, you know, and if for those of you listening to the call, if you want more information about uh, any autoimmune condition, there's a, a great gal in our team called Marsha Schultz. So I give a shout out to her. And she's got a Facebook page, um, Healing Autoimmune Naturally. And she just shares her story about what she did. Um, and so you could find some information there. But, you know, really, um, I, I thought it's also important to add, you know, we, we can't uh, claim to treat, uh, prevent or cure any disease or illness. Um, you know, we, the, uh, these are just our opinions and uh, we can't make claims about our products. Uh, but we can, as Dr. Kurt has said, we can talk about the ingredients. And of course, you should always follow the advice of your uh, physician as well. So I just thought I'd throw that in there since we've been You're talking right. about all this stuff. Well, I just want to answer one final question. You know, Michael said here, uh, he, he brought up the Perilla oil and, and Michael, exactly. That's, that's the oil I'm talking about. It helps balance out that arachidonic cascade that it's called and, uh, and keeps that in check. So, you know, Katie, uh, I think it was a great call. You know? Yeah. Great. Uh, I felt like we were just having a really good conversation. Hopefully uh, you guys have enjoyed uh, what we've been talking about and you've got some good tips and it's added some value uh, to your day, week, year life. And um, yeah, thanks, Michael, for joining us. And thanks, everyone, for watching. You bet. Thank you. Have a great, great weekend, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.